daily as we go about our lives, we are seeing the good that our Heavenly Father provides. Sometimes they are in little, the, the world will call them little miracles. But in our lives, they are big miracles because they are signs from our Father to let us know that He's working on our situations. We are instructed to see small miracles every day. Signs and wonders. The sages said that a verse from our Torah portion suggests that everyone is obliged to recite at least a hundred blessings, brachas a day. Do we do that? A hundred sockets for a hundred talents of silver. One talent per socket. Exodus 38 verse 27. Just as hundred sockets served as the foundation for the sanctuary, so the daily blessings represent the soul's foundation and holiness. Blessing our Father every day for waking us up, for the food we eat, the clothes we wear, for providing for us to have a roof over our head, for blessing our families, our children, our grandchildren, our husbands, our wives, our relatives, our friends, our co-workers. Hallelujah. We, we Baruch our Elohim for by offering our thanks. We thank him every day. Thank you for the food. Thank you that our digestive system is working. Thank you that I can go to the bathroom. Thank you that I can I can eat and drink. So as we are thanking him for still being alive and thanking him for being able to to give uh, encouragement to those that have lost loved ones. And thereby consciousness of life is sanctified through us by thanking Father. The Hebrew term for gratitude is hakarat tova, a phrase that means recognizing the good. The heart looks through the eye and therefore how we choose to see is a spiritual decision. If your eye is single, Yahushua said, then your whole body will be filled with light, Matthew 6, When we see rightly, we will behold the radiance of Elohim pervading our way even in the midst of our mundane affairs, Isaiah 6, verse 3. A grateful heart is awake to Elohim's presence in the little things of life. Those small miracles and glories that he constantly surround us with. Somebody bringing us food. Somebody bringing us water. Somebody sending us $20 just to get some gas. Somebody calling us to give us a scripture. We are not forgotten. Somebody telling us, I prayed for you today. And just as the manna would taste according to the gratitude of the person eating, so it is with the inner vision of truth. The good eye of faith sees hundreds of reasons to Baruch Elohim for the precious gift of life. Yahuwah is enthroned among the blessings and Brockers and Baruch's of his people, Psalm 22, verse 3. We do not forget the small things. A grandchild calling you to tell you that they love you. Grandchildren calling grandmothers, grandfathers. Grandmothers calling grandchildren, sons and daughters, uncles, friends. These are miracles for somebody to call and sing over you. And somebody call with tears in their voice and I just needed to hear your voice. We give praise to our Father as we lift up His name. 
lift up his name, not for vain reasons, but to let him know from our heart that we care about him as well. We bring our hearts to him sincerely and it reflects in our lives. Father invites our request. And so therefore, we offer a prayer in complete faith, knowing it will be heard in heaven. As it is written in the new covenant, and this is the confidence, freedom to speak honestly that we have with him. That if we ask anything according to his will, he heeds us. And if we know that he heeds us in whatever we ask, we know that we presently have the request that we have asked of him. 1 John 5, 14 and 15. If you want to see his brockers, his rook, his blessing, then, you, then we must open our eyes. The commandment here is more of a mitzvah. That is an opportunity to connect with Yahuwah's heart to become alive and awake. The idea is that, that we get to see the miracles. Not that you must see it. It is always a choice to believe Colossians 3 verse 15. Let us not forget the little miracles. Let us not despise small beginnings because our Father has done big miracles in our lives, saving souls in our families, reconciling our families, reconnecting old acquaintances. Let us not forget the small miracles, signs, and wonders. These signs are following all believers in Yahushua. And what a great gift that we have. That Messiah offered up his life for us. Baruch Hashem Yahuwah. What a mighty, mighty, wonderful father that we serve. Do not forget the small miracles. The clock of time is ticking. You do not know when he will call you home. Do what you can do in the process of being an instrument in Father's hand so that he can perform miracles through you. The clock is ticking. Tick. Talk, tick, talk, tick, talk. Do something before it is too late and you did not yield to Father so that he could work a miracle through you in somebody else's life. Tick, talk.